Welcome to the HTTP redirect demo for the ASR 9000. My name is Sander Tugis and together with Bruce Osler and Dennis Leclerc, we created this HTTP redirect functionality in XR4.2.1. You will have there the great capability of doing HTTPR in iOS XR. In this demo, we're going to show you how the redirects works, which options you have, and a walkthrough of the packet sequence based on the redirect method configured. The setup for this demo is very simple. A Mac PC is connected via PPPoE to the ASR 9K under test. Behind this 9K is a DNS server that will return the official destination addresses for the web servers targeted. The A9K will intercept the HTTP packets and provide the redirect page and the browser will then connect to the redirect portal instead. There are several options to do a redirect which we are outlined here. In short, there are two key versions. That is providing an HTTP 200 response, which means an OK, followed by an XR generated web page that will use a meta redirect directive in order to refresh the browser to a new page directing to the portal. The other option is to use an HTTP status code, other than 200 to instruct the browser or client to connect to another page or another server. Code 301 is a permanent redirect which can be used but is cumbersome as the browser will remember that this page is permanently moved so even after the redirect is removed from the session the browser will still connect to the portal immediately so considering that this is not a desired option we have not implemented this methodology. Code 302 means that the page is found and we are instructing to connect to a different server instead. This is the older method that HTTP version 1.0 was using for redirect. The potential issue with that might be that clients are not officially meant to redirect even though it is still working. 307 is the new HTTP version 1.1 methodology and it is a temporary redirect so the browser and client is not caching the response as it would be with a 301 response. This is a good option to use but it requires the client to support the 307 methodology, in other words support HTTP version 1.1. An intermediate page, like we have with a 200 option, is not displayed here. So the browser will connect immediately to the redirected portal. Our code is intelligent enough to detect the browser version and either use a 302 or a 307 response based on the version 1.0 or 1.1. This picture shows the different configuration sections that need to be fulfilled in order to get the redirect going. You define via an ACL, for instance, which pages or which addresses you want to redirect. Make sure that the portal is not part of that, because obviously you don't want to redirect the redirect portal. Then you link these ACLs in your classes. The PBR policy map will then use these classes to classify whether they are to, of the transmit or pass-through kind, or are to be redirected to the portal. In the end, you will pull in this ACP redirect portal into your dynamic template, or you can attach it as a service via COA, for instance. This final picture shows you the actual configuration that you are using. The 200 colon prefix instructs that we're using the HTTP OK method and we'll be using the both options, so the 200 and the 300 option for this demo. First we connect via PPPoE. The session is connected. If I open my browser now, it will start to open a page to the default home page and that should get redirected. You saw the intermediate page instructing us that we were getting redirected and finally we're ending up here at the official portal in order for us to log on or sign up which will then potentially remove the HTTP redirect moving forward. All right, let's capture some packets here. Shark is running, we're opening the web page and here we have all the write captures of the packets. Let's examine what is happening over here. 202.114 is our client IP address and 171.71.181.19 is the server that we want to connect to. You can see the server here responding with a SYNAC which is really generated by the ASR 9K and the client acknowledges uh, our TCP handshake. Then you can see the client trying to set up an HTTP GET to Cisco.com in this case and here you can see the ASR 9K with the server IP address responding with a, a new page. And here in this page you can see that we're doing a meta refresh operation redirecting us in one second to 48.1.1.2 and the authentication page over here. The client acknowledges that, that he was doing that request and he is closing us off very nicely which we are acknowledging over here. Next thing you know is that the client thing now to the 48.1.1.2 server that we expected based on the meta refresh. And after the initial TCP handshake is completed you can see here that the client is getting the uh, bng slash auth.pl which was referenced here in the uh, HTTP response by the ASR9K HTTP redirect server.
Okay, that shows you how the HTTP 200 methodology works with the intermediate web page. Let's reconfigure the system real quick and then instruct it to use an, an HTTP 30x methodology so you won't see an intermediate page and a direct connect. We're going to start the capture. to capture HTTP ports. We're going to open the browser and immediately the, the portal. So if we're going to look now at the sniffer trace, here we can see that TCP handshake complete. We're going to get a page and here the server is responding here with a 307 temporary redirect and here we can see that we are setting the server to an ASR 9K iOS XR for just for shits and giggles and the location is um, pointing to the to the redirect server. So that completes the demo for the HTTP redirect. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next demo.